Hello everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. Now you may have found that multi-extruder prints that require different colors or different materials within the same print are becoming more popular, but if you're still using a single extruder printer, you're unable to achieve these prints. So Prusa Slicer has a feature in there which makes this a little bit easier. Up until now, you've been able to eagle eye watch your print and pause it at the exact moments you want to manually change your filament, but there's always a risk that you might miss the moment or mistime your pause. Prusa Slicer now has the ability to select different heights within your print, and at those heights, it will automatically pause the print and wait for you to change the filament before it then continues. So you'll be able to guarantee that you're going to meet the exact points that you wanted to change that color. It doesn't allow you to change filaments at different areas within the same layer, but it does mean that you can have multi-tone prints with a single extruder. We'll go through how to do this now, so let's have a look. So to add a layer or multiple layers for the printer to pause and wait for a filament change, if you slice your model once you've pumped in all your settings, on the right hand side you're probably already aware that you can scroll up and down and that's going to adjust what layer you're looking at in your print so you can see the different layers. Now let's say we wanted the base of this to be one color and then the logo on top of it to be a different color. That's the last layer of the base there. That's the first layer that the logo is on. So you can either just click the plus button here and you can see that it has changed the color of the, um, the layers above that. So um, at this point, the print would pause and uh, request a filament change. You can click X to remove that change and just go back to all being one filament. Uh, you can also, at whatever layer height you're at, you can press the plus button on your keyboard uh, to add it or the minus button to remove it. If I was to hold shift and press plus, I can choose which color the, the new color displays as. It won't affect the print itself, but it will affect how it looks in Prusa Slicer. So it's better to, it uh, makes it easier to visualize how your print will eventually look. Uh, and then also, if you were to right click, if I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that layer again. If you were to right click on the plus here, you can add color change, which is what we've been doing. You can also just set it to pause the print at that point. It doesn't necessarily request a filament change. So if you wanted to insert a, a magnet inside your print or something like that, this is a way you could do that. And then you can also add custom G code to be run at that exact moment in this print. Uh, okay, so if we click plus uh, and we'll, uh, let's go for a nice green. Um, so you can see that it's changed at that point. So the logo will be one color, the base will be another. Let's slice it and see how that looks. So with the print going, it will begin printing the base as any other print with the single one color. And when it reaches the layer that you have set in Prusa Slicer, it will automatically pause the print and ask for a filament change just like this. You can see the print is paused there. The nozzle has safely moved away from the print so it doesn't ooze onto the print and it asks you to unload the filament. Currently just the one color. So if we remove the filament now, and it will ask you if it's successfully uh, been removed, it will then ask you to insert the new filament. So we'll get that inserting now, and it's going to extrude to switch between the two filaments. So we're getting rid of the orange there, and then we'll have the white coming in. And once that's finished going, remove that safely with a tweezer and click yes it has successfully changed it will then print the rest of the print in the new filament and there we have it it's successfully printed with two different colors in the same print with a single extruder okay so there is a multi-color print from a single extruder 3d printer without the need to sit around and watch the print for 20 hours to make sure i pause it at the right time i hope today's video has been useful don't forget to comment underneath and otherwise like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks very much